welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now I have just arrived up on the beautiful Gold Coast. I flew up here from Sydney this morning and I'm going to be spending the next couple of days up here which is really exciting. I do love the Gold Coast. Now today's video is going to be just a little bit of a mix up of what goes on over the next few days. And I also thought I would share with you some of my top tips on being able to track your calorie intake while you are out and while you are traveling. So stay tuned for the end of this video where I will share some of those top tips. <laughs> so this is what I have chosen for lunch. Pretty simple grilled chicken breast, sweet potato fries and veggies. This is a rather healthy meal for Mark. Healthy as it gets. Healthy as it gets. Um, again, this is something that I would choose usually out and it is very, very easy to track. I'll put up the macros on here. At the amazing pool at the Versace. It's so nice here. Good morning. So I'm just getting ready to head down to breakfast. It is a buffet breakfast, my favorite. So I'm gonna go down there and eat and I'll show you what I'm having. Then I think I'm gonna go do a little bit of cardio before we go to Movie World today. So this would be a typical buffet breakfast for me. I have three eggs, some turkey, mushroom spinach and tomato. Again, very easy to track. I will have some carbs probably later in the day or if I might get a little bit of cereal. This one this is actually kind of healthy for you. He more than likely will go get dessert soon. <laughs> So with breakfast, I do usually try and keep this as one of my most simple meals of the day, purely because I do want to leave enough calories for the rest of the day when I am probably a little bit more hungry and I can be more adventurous with my food. Tonight we are going out for dinner and I know it'll probably be a big dinner. It's Valentine's Day, so we're doing something special. So I thought today I'll probably eat a little bit more basic to leave room for a really good dinner and probably dessert. Dessert, breakfast dessert, round two. <laughs> and we are at Movie World. <laughs> Time to get absolutely scared on all the rides. Are we going on that ride? No. Is someone being scared? I get sick. He drags me to movie world and won't even go on the scariest rides. Hey, you Lawrence. <laughs> we are just having some lunch now. I found something I can eat. There is so much junk fruit obviously at movie world, but I am trying to be kind of good. But I will show you what we are having. I found this salad. So this is my lunch, grilled chicken salad. Pretty basic and boring. This one has a double cheeseburger. Double cheeseburger and chips. We always do a his versus hers when it comes to our food. What have you got now? Okay guys, so now we're gonna talk a little bit about tracking your food intake while you are out. Now for me personally, I do flexible dieting and therefore I have been tracking my calories while I have been away and while we have been traveling recently. So for me, I usually try and pick 
more simple meals that I am able to track a little bit more accurately. No, I don't bring my scales out or anything like that. So a lot of the time it pretty much is just guessing. Now I have been tracking my food for many years now. So my guesses are a little bit more accurate, I guess. And so with the food choices that I make, they would be a little bit more simple. So that might mean choosing something like chicken, rice, and avocado over a really, really fancy dish with a million ingredients. It just does limit that chance for not getting it all in. All right, so my thing, what I do with my clients is, just because you're away and you might not know exactly what you have or how much is in it, you still track everything you, you can, okay? So what I always get them to do is overestimate the foods they have. So obviously it's different if you're in comp prep mode, or just um, on a basic holiday in a Vulcan phase, but I still want them to enter in something. So entering in something in your day will make you realize how much you're actually eating. So it's a good idea that you think when it's 4 p.m., oh, I've had 500 calories today, or you've actually tracked and you're actually around 1,800 calories. So you think actually, okay, I realize I've actually eaten a lot more than I think I have, so I'm not gonna overeat at dinner. So it's making smart decisions, and when you track, it might not be perfect. You're not weighing your food and you're eating out a lot, but again, actually putting something into my fitness pal is crucial to at least having somewhat of an understanding of where you actually are. So if you don't track it anything at all, you have no idea. By at least tracking and making educated guesses, you're on a much better path to success. Yeah, it helps you be a lot more mindful of your food choices as well. Say if you have a really calorie dense breakfast, you know probably the rest of the day you're not gonna be eating as adventurous as usual, so. Okay guys, to wrap this up, we're gonna give you our top five tips for when you are traveling. All right, so number one, I think this is crucial, is to move more. So get your movement up throughout the day. So if you wanna be able to eat more calories, if you wanna have more fun to play with, move more. So moving will lead to more calorie expenditure. The more we move, more calories you can eat. So number two would be to track everything, no matter what it is, make sure that you are entering. I use my fitness pal to do that. I get asked all the time what I use. So my fitness pal and just log in everything that you are eating for the day. And if you know the food that you are going to be eating, say later in the day, make sure that you map out your day a little bit just to make it a bit easier for you. All right, so again, have a flexible approach to nutrition. So yes, you wanna be good, you wanna eat, um, good quality foods, but still remember it's a holiday, so have some fun with it. This is why, again, it comes back to what Lauren said, the power of tracking will give you more options. So don't be overly restrictive on holiday. Remember, have some fun. Still try and get in a gym session. Remember that getting in any type of exercise is better than doing absolutely nothing at all. Even if you can't make the gym, you can still do some outdoor circuits or anything like that. Again, just keep your body moving. All right, and then number five, Finally, I want you to understand that have a holiday. It's okay to have a bit of fun, um, especially if you're gone away for a few days early, you have only gone away for two, three days. It's a holiday, you diet year round. Um, don't get too down on yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself. Don't tell yourself shit things if you're not perfect with your food. If you have a bad day, just get back on track the next day. Please don't beat yourself up. Have a holiday, have fun. Enjoy yourself. And then just get back on track when you get home. All right, so thanks for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and you learned something. If you are new to my channel, please make sure that you hit subscribe. We'll see you again soon.